Well, welcome to Elite and welcome to Overland College Football. I'm head football coach Steve Opkenorth. What a night and what a crew we have joining us in a virtual world. We can't thank you enough for hanging out for an hour, really seeing in depth what Overland College Football is all about. Big weekend coming up. Got a chance to celebrate Juneteenth tomorrow. Happy Father's Day to those that are joining us as fathers on the call and probably finding a way to get your son out of the house pretty soon. But the talent, the ability, certainly the character and the academics that we've got on tonight's call really show what the standard's all about. Our staff has done a great job attracting those around the country that really want a chance to know how to raise the standard and what this place is 30 minutes west of Cleveland that has a top-notch education. And we're looking forward to being one of the better football programs in the country. 16 months ago, I had a chance to interview and accept the head football job here at Overland College. I was wowed by the facilities. I would jaw drop by the campus. And most importantly, I want you to get a chance to know the people. We hired the right staff to really ensure that the people will drive the train and get this thing cranked up and rolling. Our 2021 class got finished up in May and we're bringing 33 top ready guys here that really see, believe, and understand the mission, the philosophy, and really the future of Overland College football. We hope that you're wowed here tonight, see a little bit about what makes the standard. To me, there's four characteristics and pillars of success that we'll find over the next four years. Number one, it's an acronym that we believe it called RYFP, Reach Your Full Potential academically, athletically, and socially here at a pretty impressive spot. I'm standing in the John Heisman room. The history and tradition here are outstanding. And the opportunities and network can really set yourself up to win the 40-year dash is unlimited. You're going to put yourself in a position to graduate with a degree that carries some serious weight. And we want guys that are willing to climb the mountain, shake some hands, kiss some babies, and no one believed that you can do some impressive things with an OC degree. The second piece is trust. You see it when you walk into our locker room. you got to trust the process. And we hope as a staff to be a guiding light so yeah, you can enjoy this college search. The definition of recruiting, I'm not sure what it is, but I do know that relationships go a long way. So through this process, we'll look to build a relationship with you, your family. So you know and understand the advantages and if this place – can be called home. The third characteristic is love. I want guys that love the game of football, no doubt about it. 5.8% of high school players go on to play. 1.8% finish their four or five year college career, walk out on senior day and say, I did it, I finished. I want those guys. And then finally, compete. We're gonna compete in everything you do. I want guys that are dreamers that wanna accomplish greater things throughout their history and certainly their four years here at Overland College, both on the field and off the field. Competition doesn't leave you in life. Competition is certainly going to grow and prosper you as a student athlete here at Overland College. We know many of you, we've got a chance to meet at camps. Some of you, we've got recommendations from high school coaches. All of you, we believe we can get into one of the tougher schools in the country. We've got an array of guests that will join you to see exactly the advantages and what makes this place special. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. You'll see some personality come out of these guys as well. The first guest I want to introduce to talk about our campus is certainly the best recruiting assistant you're going to find in the country. The pride of California and a member of our softball program. I'm going to kick it to V Dagnone. V, appreciate your time tonight. Hi guys, how are we doing? Um, I'm V. I'm a current third year junior here on campus. Um, I'm part of the softball team, certainly a part of uh, Oberlin football here, and I'm going to talk to you guys about our campus um, a little bit. We can roll up the slides here. Thank you. All right, so just a little bit about Oberlin here. So Oberlin was founded in 1833. 
Um, it is located in Oberlin, Ohio, which is about 30 minutes west um, from Cleveland. So pretty, pretty easy drive here. You know, like a lot of students will end up going to the city a lot of the times. It's really pretty. You can go see a Browns game, go see a Cavs game, an Indians game, whatever you want. Um, and uh, Oberlin's campus is housed approximately about like 450 acres. Um, and in within the campus, there are 10 plus different campus dining options. Uh, you can go from like Umami, which is my favorite place, get some hand rolled sushi. Um, you can go to Stevie and you can have team dinners after practice uh, with your whole team there. Um, and there are also multiple housing options. Um, so Oberlin really likes their students to stay on campus for four years. And they range from just traditional dorms to themed houses to even houses when you're, when you're a junior and a senior here. And then on top of that, the Allen Memorial Art Museum. If you take humanities classes, you'll end up going there. It's one of the top five um, museums in all of colleges here, um, as, long as, as well as the Warner Concert Hall. Uh, we like to say in Oberlin, you know, you can never get bored. You know, there's always a concert, there's always an event going on and Warner Concert Hall is definitely a place where that could happen too as well. Um, so a little bit more about downtown Oberlin here. Um, it is super historic. Um, Oberlin, part of the Underground Railroad here, um, as well as the first college to let people of color and women um, study here. Um, part of it is Tappan Square. You can, you know, throw a Frisbee, throw a ball, chill out. It's beautiful 13 acres of green space, um, beautiful in the winter, beautiful in the fall, um, as well as multiple dining options. Uh, you can get a burger at the Fev, uh, which is, seems to be very popular among Oberlin students, or you could go get Korean at Kim's. You know, We have so many dining options here if you wanna eat out um, and the really good foods as well. The hotel at Oberlin, you know, this was built very recently. Um, it is honestly one of the best hotels I've stayed at completely green, super high end. Um, so parents, I know you're out there, you know, you want to visit your kid, want to, you know, go see a game, you know, those are definitely, that's a great place to stay for parents here at the, ho at the hotel here. Um, as well as we have a movie theater, you know, very like cute movie theater, super historic as well. The Apollo, it's great. You know, you can see, you know, the latest things that come out here, as well as like random sh small shops, small boutique, um, is super pretty down here in, in, in Oberlin. So uh, yeah, just a little bit of that. And now I'm gonna pass it off to Coach Swingle who will give you a virtual tour of campus. Welcome to Elite and welcome to today's campus tour. Today, you'll get a chance to dive head first into one of the top small colleges in America. The campus itself is truly picturesque. Sprawling across a vast landscape is majestic historic buildings complemented by a modern style from an ever-expanding campus. First, we take a trip over to Wilder Bowl, the main academic portion of campus. First, we see Finney Chapel, a gathering space for multiple events and organizations. Next up on your left is the Cox Administration Building and the Observatory, as well as Mud Library, the staple of Wilder Bowl, home to over 3.4 million resources and an academic help center. Wilder Hall is home to our student union, as well as multiple dining options. Stevie is home to one of the best food options on campus. You can dine here four times a day with unlimited food within your four swipes. Stop on over for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and our personal favorite, fourth meal. Located right next door is Con Hall, a favorite for incoming freshmen as it provides a sweet style of living with a modern touch and feel. It is also a notable green space as it gives off more energy than it consumes. Campus is home to a number of green spaces, perfect for a study break, as well as enjoying the outdoors of Cleveland, Ohio. Oberlin is home to the second highest valued college run art museum, home to the largest collection of Picassos and Monets. The brand new Science Center offers STEM students research opportunities to help further themselves in their career and development. 
Oberlin is truly home to the elite and our arts program is no different. Home to one of the top conservatories in the country, students come from across the globe to reach their full potential in the performing arts. At Oberlin, there is a continued investment into you as both a student and an athlete. In the last five years, there has been over $33 million in renovations to update all of our athletics programs, especially benefiting football in a number of ways. Coupled with athletics in a picturesque campus, elite academics have a home at Oberlin. Some of our top programs include pre-med, all of our STEM fields, pre-law, business, finance, and economics, just to name a few. No matter what your area of study, you will walk away with a world-class education and experiences that will last you a lifetime. Oberlin is a true college town with a wide variety of things to do both on and off campus. In addition to dorm life, there are multiple housing options for both upperclassmen and underclassmen alike. Pictured here is Union Housing, right next to our athletics complex, home to 7% of our student athletes. Take a step inside a more traditional dorm space with cafe and dining options, as well as full living spaces for underclassmen to take part in. This summer, our dorms will be updated to house full air conditioning, as well as modern renovations for some of our older units. You can find multiple libraries across campus to get some studying in, as well as different clubs and student activities. Top performers like Kendrick Lamar, Lizzo, and Chance the Rapper have come to Oberlin to perform in recent years. The next stop on our tour is of the Tappan Square area. This is a mix of campus and community with different dining favorites like the Fev in 1833, as well as small coffee shops, boutiques, and other offerings like the Apollo Theater owned by Danny DeVito, where students can enjoy movies for only $4. The hotel at Oberlin is great for parents to stay at game day and 1833 is one of the top dining experiences in Northeast Ohio. Yeah, this place will drop your jaw. The aesthetic value of campus and certainly some of the places to eat, pretty darn good. That's why I got to work out some more. But uh, we're excited to host you to campus, hopefully this summer, even for a game day visit. Next up, on your virtual visit as a top-rated prospect, somebody that is as influential on this campus and really a friend, confidant, and just an impressive member of our Overland College family, Anna Richardson is from our admission office, but she lived the student athlete life and did pretty well as a track and field star here not too long ago. So talk a little bit more about the admission process of the high academic school and really about that matriculation and calendar. Up next, Anna Richardson. Anna, thanks for joining us. Yes, yeah, Steve, thanks for such a nice introduction. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm very excited to be here. My name is Anna Richardson, I like she, her, hers. Um, and I am an admissions counselor, but as uh, coach said, I graduated from Oberlin in 2018. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep it pretty short. I got the not as exciting admissions things to go through. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how our application works, our different deadlines, and then finish up with a little bit about financial aid and merit. Um, and then of course, I'm gonna be around so you can use the Q&A feature and ask any questions that you might have. Um, so for applications, Oberlin's application is very, very straightforward. Um, we accept the Common App as well as the Coalition App. We do not have an application fee, we're test optional and there is no additional essay. So pretty much you can tack it on, be asked like two questions, but it's not an essay or anything like that. Um, outside of that, when you're thinking about the actual pieces of the application, we do require that you have two uh, academic recommendations. So those are folks that are within your five core classes. So like science, math, you know, history, those types of things. Every now and then, you know, get a really excited football coach, which we love to see, um, but we do require 
require that you have those core recommendations. Outside of that, it's just your counselor rec that they'll they'll get to decide whether they're going to write it or not, um, and then your general essay. So pretty straightforward for that. When you're thinking about um, deadlines, we do have two different types of deadlines. We have early decision and regular decision. Um, so early decision at Oberlin and at basically all colleges is a binding decision. Um, basically what it means is that I'm putting in this application because this is my number one spot. If you admit me, I'm coming. Um, so there are many reasons why folks would do that. So we have ED1, which is gonna be November 15th, ED2, that's January 2nd, and then a regular decision that's January 15th. Um, so we are a selective school at Oberlin. So what that means is we do this thing called holistic reviews and admissions. You're probably gonna hear that from other schools too. What it means is we don't have to admit every student that's a 4.0 and has a 36, and we don't have any minimum requirement. We are really looking for folks who are competitive, obviously, academically to be successful, but also we get to pick individuals in general. So what that means is for a regular decision, it is more selective. Um, so when you're looking at early decision, it's almost two times, our acceptance rate is two times larger than it is in regular. So if a coach comes to you and is asking about early decision and is filling you out, it's because they're excited about you and they think that you're a good fit for the team. So those are the two different deadlines that we have. Um, and then when it comes to financial aid, and merit. Um, Oberlin is a college that meets 100% of need. So what that means is when you go and you do your financial aid application, so if you when you do the FAFSA, the federal application for um, student aid, I always forget <laughs> all the different letters, um, as well as a CSS profile, which is through the College Board, they give you this number that's your estimated family contribution. So what meeting needs is, if, if this is our huge sticker price number, right, if this is your family's contribution, it's here somewhere in the middle, Oberlin is filling in the rest with scholarships, with grants, with work study, and then with as little bit of loans as we can. So when students are coming out of Oberlin, they are not generally in more debt than your average student. So don't let the big sticker price shock you. Um, there are a couple of tools you can use to try to check out what that looks like. Um, and we do offer merit, but it's all based on academics um, and it's based on the class. So people with higher academic profiles will get a bigger package and the highest is around 35,000 um, down to obviously zero. So that's the general overview. If you do have more questions or, you know, the any nitty gritty questions, I'd be happy to answer those on email sometime too. So yeah, thanks Steve. Yeah, you knocked it out of the park. Anna, just real quick for this top rated crew, what certain areas of study might be well recognized in some of those publications like the Princeton Review, USA Today that are well known and kind of keep coming back to undergrads here at Oberlin College? Yeah, so obviously there are some shining stars, but I will preface that with there are so many amazing departments in general, but biology is always a really, really strongly and high rated department. We have folks who get the National Science Foundation um, fellowship after we actually had nine folks within Oberlin that got it this year. So it was like the second or the third largest in liberal arts. Um, institutions. Um, so that's really strong. Computer science does really well, sending a lot of folks to Google, as well as politics. Politics does well in a lot of different ways. Some folks are going on to law school. Um, some people are doing stuff within policy. So a lot of different stuff with that, as well as economics. Um, folks in econ, a lot of folks are interested in business and they go on to get their MBAs, um, as well as people who just go on to get their PhDs or just work within the field doing finance or stats. Um, but even outside of that, there's cinema studies that's really awesome. Our sociology department's also very strong, lots of PhDs, but hopefully I'm not leaving off any good departments here because V's here too. So I'm like, I know you think some of these are different too, but um, those are our top rated ones. But folks are doing so many amazing things and a lot of it has to do with the internships and type of experiences you can have as part of your education too. On the last thing I wanna just throw at you, Put you on the spot. I think you got a great story being an All American track athlete here. But how did we get you here 30 minutes west of Cleveland, Ohio, to call this place home and do so well as an undergraduate student athlete? Yeah. So uh, my my story is pretty funny. Maybe it's similar to some of you all's. 
Um, but I'm originally from Eugene, Oregon. Um, I was a thrower, so I was on the track and field team here. And my junior year, you know, I got second at state. And so I knew that I wanted to, you know, do track in college. And I was like, D1 is what it, where it's at. Big school, this is what's up. Super excited. Um, and so I kind of looked at a lot of really, really big schools. Um, but luckily, I had a coach who reached out to me, who pestered me a couple of times. I was like, hey, this place is really awesome. Like we have a lot of good things. Um, and luckily I got to do a visit, which actually we're gonna have this year, the multicultural visit program. Um, so I got to come out to campus and just meet the folks and be here. Um, and the thing is, is first off coming to the campus, it really does sell you, but the difference is, is that Oberlin, you actually do like, not to be cliche, but like you do matter. The things that you do are more than just you being an athlete and you showing up to practice. Um, when I came to campus, the first thing I did was I got to sit in on this class. It had like 10 people in it. The professor, um, which was uh, Gregory, he's great. Anyways, he uh, asked like, oh, like, what do you know about the topic we're talking about? And he's like, we're going to start the conversation from your perspective and then build on that. Um, and that's something that I thought it really struck me to have a professor there to do that. Um, but also but also just in general, the kind of respect and relationships that people were able to have with their professors. Plus, we have all the facilities at Oberlin. You have, you know, even back then before, I was just here right when everything was starting to get renovated, but our football field's amazing. The locker rooms are amazing. The weight room has everything you need to be the tip top you can, indoor track, outdoor track, grass fields, like baseball fields. We have everything that you could really need to be the best that you can be. And then also the ability to have that really, really close interaction with your professors and all whatever your dreams or whatever type of big internship or study abroad thing you wanna do, you can also do that and really capitalize on both. So I found a lot of support within like my professors at Oberlin, but also from my coaches directly, my coaches, they wanted me to be the best athlete I could be, but also the best scholar. Cause obviously college is four years and we really are preparing folks to obviously be the best athlete, best person they can be, but to set them up for after Oberlin being really, really solid. I mean, that's what I appreciated. And that's the, the difference from going to like a really big school and being D1 is like the impact that you can make and the way that people actually relate to you, so. That's my why, Oberlin. <laughs> uh, Anna, you knocked it out of the park. And can't thank you enough for hanging out with this crew, an impressive one. And we look forward to everyone getting a chance to get on campus meeting Anna through this process. She will hang out, as she said, to answer any specific questions. So feel free to add something to the chat if it relates to an academic program, an area of study, or anything that you're wondering through that admission process. Well, I'm standing now in a, a brand new fitness center that we have within our athletic center. You're going to see a lot of new shiny stuff in a pretty impressive spot to be a college football player. That happens because of people and a commitment to really being elite. Not too many virtual visits. I got a feeling you're going to get a chance to meet a senior associate athletic director. You will here tonight. I think one of the best in the country. I want to bring in and introduce Craig Yachts to spend some time with you. Craig? Thanks, Coach. Uh, Craig Yantz, uh, Senior Associate Director of Athletics here at Oberlin College. You know, our recommitment to OC football began over a year ago with a national search to find our new gridiron leader. Um, I think you've met Coach O by now. Uh, we did a pretty good job. Got our guy, right? Then Coach O went out and worked night and day to put together an amazing coaching staff. You know, a tight-knit group of young professionals who grind day in and day out. The outcome of their hard work, the 2021 recruiting class is the biggest OC has ever had from all over the country. You know, I really hope uh, you on the Zoom tonight will be part of our next huge class in 2022. Let's move on to the fun stuff now, right? Fundraising and facilities. Over the last eight years, we raised and used close to $30 million to enhance all of our athletic facilities. The $13 million Knowlton Athletics Complex, the $15 million Shanks Health and Wellness Center, and then roughly about $2 million of small but impactful facility upgrades. You know, a couple new ones, the $20,000 football locker room branding project, which is finished and via a former football player gift, the $100,000 Williams Turf replacement project, another former football player gift, $32,000 in our weight room with replacing the racks, 
$92,000 inside our Phillips equipment room. That's a renovation project as well. So I can keep going, uh, but you get the point. We are still raising money and upgrading facilities every day. Lastly, our biggest recent gift, and just another plug for football, was a half a million dollars by an alum. That's a perfect segue uh, to the Heisman Club, the athletic department's main fundraising arm, which I oversee. The Heisman Club raises in between $250,000 and $500,000 annually to help subsidize the athletic department's budget. Every year, the college holds an all-in day, a 24-hour fundraising event. This year, the Heisman Club alone raised just under $190,000. That's not bad for a one-day total. The Heisman Club also acts as a connector. We hold in-person happy hours once a month throughout the year and country in key cities, connecting former student athletes, general Oberlin alumni, and current parents. Hopefully, we can invite you to one of those this coming school year in your hometown. All of this helps enhance our student athlete experience at Oberlin. Really enjoyed being with all of you tonight. I will stay on as well for a while if you have any questions for me in the chat, but thanks for your time. Thanks, Craig. What's going on, everyone? Coach Jurgel, defensive coordinator, and I coach our secondary here at Oberlin College. I want to first talk about where you'll see me recruiting in the great state, our backyard here of Ohio. That's central Ohio, it's the Columbus area. And then moving out east, Delaware and the DMV, Maryland, DC, Virginia, and then hanging out and rocking it in Southern California. Hopefully you guys over the last half hour have had the opportunity, the chance to meet some individuals, see some facilities, all the reasons, all the resources, all the people committed to making Oberlin College an elite academic and athletic institution. And some of the things that Craig had talked about in terms of the upgrades, are right here behind me, coming to you guys right now from our, our varsity weight room, a great space where we train our football players year round. We got some guys on campus right now preparing for this upcoming season. Guys, it's an exciting time to be at Oberlin College. All right, strike while the iron's hot. Some of these pictures have been really pretty. Some of this in terms of resources, the videos you've seen are really exciting, but you gotta see it. You gotta get your feet on the ground, guys. You gotta check things out first and foremost, see it in person to really get a feeling for what elite and while we're able to raise the standard here at Oberlin College. Next piece that I want to introduce and segue you guys into is our strength and conditioning piece. Kind of what you see here behind me in our varsity weight room is we're fortunate to work with a full-time strength and conditioning staff. Ryan Richmond, our head strength and conditioning coach, heads up T3 Performance, which do an outstanding job in terms of making sure they're training our student athletes, our football players year round and training the entire body. Part of that also, is our nutrition piece as well too. We're fortunate to work with a full-time nutritionist, Brooke Beecher, who does an outstanding job with our student athletes, our football players as well too. So I'm gonna pass it off to them, kind of talk more details about kind of what we do here at the OC. Hi everyone, my name is Brooke Beecher and I am a licensed and registered sports dietitian and I own a private practice called Nutrition with Brooke. As you probably just heard about the strength and conditioning programming at Oberlin College, which is absolutely exceptional, it's a perfect segue into nutrition. Uh, nutrition and strength training and practices, it all goes hand in hand when it comes to supporting really high level performance. I think it's really awesome that the coaching staff has invested in nutrition. This is the first year that I've been working with Oberlin College football and the amount of growth that we've seen and the amount of progress we've made for each individual player toward their goal really is impressive, um, whether it be a body competition goal or a strength goal or you know whatever it may be, we've been able to utilize nutrition as one more resource to help them help them get there. What we've done this past semester is we hosted workshops throughout the semester that the guys would attend and we would cover all different topics and that would include supplements, hydration, recovery, nutrition, you know, what should you eat before, work out before a lift. So we talk about kind of everything under the sun to support their training efforts and their overall performance goals. I will say that nutrition um, services and a sports dietitian is very rare to find in division three. So I think it really speaks volumes to what the coaching staff values and the fact that they're really willing to do whatever it takes to compete and win when it comes to football. Um, they realize that nutrition really is a really, really powerful tool if utilized properly. And we're already seeing that that is definitely true. So I'm really excited to hopefully meet and work with many of you in the future. 
Uh, I, I hope you guys have a great recruiting process. And if you have any questions about nutrition or how nutrition works with Oberlin College Football, please email me at brooke at nutritionwithbrooke.com. That's Brooke with an E. Have a great rest of your night. Thanks, Brooks. Hey, guys. Coach Beavers here, uh, Coach Linebackers. Um, as you guys have seen the videos of everything um, about what Overland brings uh, to on campus as well. But one thing that I think that goes unnoticed a lot of times, and especially when you get here, you kind of notice, is what is outside of Overland. I'm actually sitting here um, in Cleveland, Ohio, actually. I um, mean, that's one thing I want to talk about, just what it brings um, and what the things that you're able to do here. Um, like I said, about 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes right outside of Overland is Cleveland. you got the home of the Cleveland Browns, the Indians, um, you know, the Cavaliers as well. And so you can go check it a, a baseball game, basketball game, football game, um, whatever your choice is. Um, and there's just the kind of nightlife downtown as well. It's, it's, it's awesome. Um, and then you also got amusement park called Cedar Park as well, or Cedar Point. Um, and so the things that you can do there, it's, it's awesome as well. And that's right down the road about half hour as well. Um, the Metro parks that we have here in Ohio, uh, especially around Overland Cleveland area, um, is amazing, top notch. When you do come on campus, um, one of the spots that we definitely recommend is called Crocker Park. Um, it's in one of the suburbs here called Westlake. It's an outdoor mall. Eating is phenomenal, the nightlife as well. Um, so the biggest thing that we want, I think, when you guys do come visit on campus, and I think that's kind of the most important thing is, you know, yes, you can drive around, uh, but the best thing is about coming and seeing it and kind of experiencing it for yourself. Um, and so I highly recommend that when you do uh, travel to all the locations that we kind of mentioned here and uh, just kind of get a feel and get a sense for it. And it's uh, truly as we leave, um, as we talk about here. Uh, so now I'm going to throw it over to Coach O to the gymnasium there. Well, I'm coming to you from our basketball arena, and this was redeveloped, and you can see the graphics behind us. It's a pretty neat spot to watch a college basketball game. I know we'll get it cranked back up here this winter. Basketball team was in the tournament this past year. Our baseball team has won a conference championship, and certainly our track team has had national success as well. And if we're going to compete, we've got to do it in everything we do. So I want to bring in one of our better players and certainly a impressive young man that's got a, a bright future with an Oberlin College degree before he gets his butt kicked in basketball. I don't know about all that. Uh, what's up, y'all? I'm uh, Christian Arnold. Uh, I'm currently a junior here at Oberlin. Uh, I play defensive back here for the young men, and I'm a religion major with a math minor. I'm about to whip Coach O's ass right here. He's got great <laughs> hair, but we'll see what he does on the court. All right. Wow. Last shot. Wow. You you nice hey, 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 hey. We're lucky he can cover some people. There we go. Hey, he's going to hear about that tomorrow morning at 6.15. We got the best offensive line coach in the country. Before he introduced himself, you could see it on his high school film. I want guys up front like this.
How's everyone doing today? Coach Delgado, you just seen there, and also the creator of offensive targeting. Real excited for today's virtual with today. A lot of stud athletes out on the call today. A little about myself, I'm a West Coast guy. Come from Northern California, but played my ball Eastern Washington up in the great state of Washington. You can, you can find me recruiting in the West Coast, in Northern California, Utah, Washington, Oregon, Nevada, and Wyoming, and in, in Ohio, Cincinnati area. Being here for over two seasons, I've seen what over the three can do for you. I've seen guys graduate with jobs already, six-figure jobs working on Wall Street, also going to their top med school, pre-law school. And so this place can really truly change your life. And I truly believe, seen firsthand, this will be the best decision you can make for your family. Like, like Craig said earlier, we have top facilities here. $33 million have gone into our facilities. And you can see right here, in our video real quick here. So enjoy the video right here and prepare to be amazed by our facilities. Welcome to Elite, and welcome to one of the best athletic facilities in all of small college football. First, we take a look at the Knowlton Complex area, our field and home on game days, as well as our complex meeting space during the week. Take a step inside and you'll find our offensive, defensive, and team meeting rooms, which transforms to a bar and restaurant area on game day for our fans, alumni, and parents all to enjoy. Next, we step into our locker room, our player's home, 24-7, 365, complete with a full player lounge and team area. Transition over into our Williams Indoor Facility, where we escape the harsh elements during the winter months to get full practices in on an indoor turf field. This area is also home to our world-class athletic training facility. You can find our players inside the varsity weight room four times a week during the off season and twice a week in season, getting bigger, faster, and stronger. The Heisman Indoor Fieldhouse is a space that we use during the off season for speed development. Take a trip upstairs to the Phillips classroom and you'll find our players and coaches breaking down opponent game film, as well as perfecting their craft day in and day out. The cardio room is a brand new space for general student use to use in a traditional rec center type setting. Here at Oberlin, we like to get bendy You'll find our players in the yoga studio twice a week, working on flexibility and mobility with our full-time yoga instructor. Phillips is also home to an indoor Olympic swimming pool that we'll use for recovery workouts. Welcome to Elite, and we can't wait to see you on campus in person very soon. Appreciate you guys joining us tonight. I wanted to introduce myself to you guys. My name is uh, Coach Laurel. I'll actually be coaching the inside linebackers here at uh, Oberlin College. I took over the position around the beginning of May. Just a little bit about me. I came from uh, Columbus, Ohio, where I played my ball up at Bowling Green State University. As far as coaching, I came over from Robert Morris University around the beginning of May. Part of the reason I made that transition from Robert Morris University in Pittsburgh after I had my conversation with o, Coach O, saw his vision for what he wanted to do when it came to changing the program, got my feet on campus. I realized there are a lot of great things that we can do with this program. And as you guys see, the people, the faculty, and the facilities are all great resources that we have to promote the well being of football. And as far as areas that you can catch me at, you'll catch me in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi or Alabama. So definitely looking to bring some of that Southern swag up to the uh, Northeast Ohio. So make sure you guys reach out to me. I'll get you over to Coach uh, Swingle and introduce himself. 
Appreciate that introduction, Coach Laurel. Uh, as mentioned, I am Coach Ryan Swingle. I'm our Director of On-Campus Recruiting, as well as our Running Backs Coach here at Oberlin College. I really appreciate you all taking this evening to spend your time with us and check out what Elite truly is. Uh, I recruit areas throughout the Midwest, Indiana, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas, as well as the great state of Tennessee and Western Ohio here locally. I'll be down at the Vanderbilt camp this weekend, so we're looking forward to seeing some of my guys that are on this call out at camp as well as at the New England Elite camp next week. Kind of want to talk very briefly about the reason why I chose Oberlin not too long ago. I was in your shoes coming in here for my first time in my interview. Um, really the three things that stood out to me was one, the facilities that hit you right in the face. Here in Williams, you have an indoor facility that's unlike any other across small college football. All the advantages and everything you need are here at Oberlin to succeed as both a student and an athlete. But really the thing that impressed me the most was the people here, having those relationships with advisors with your professors that are going to set you up to win the 40 year dash was something that was really special and allows us to impact young men on a day-to-day -day basis and finally was the relationship i had with coach o you know playing for him he was our offensive coordinator really saw the vision lived out every single day when we talk about love trust compete and reaching your full potential you have someone at the top who does that every single day and being around this staff for the last year and a half there's no doubt we got the right guys in place to get that done so really appreciate you guys hopping on the call tonight I will pass it over next to Coach Chris Clift. Thanks, Coach Swingle. And thank you guys for joining us tonight, taking the time to see what Oberlin College is all about. Uh, I'm coming to you live from the Knowlton Athletic Complex. Uh, as you guys can see behind me, to my right, it's a large meeting space that we'll use for practice days. You know, it's nice because it's right here. We're literally 10 yards from being on the field. Uh, and then off to the right, you know, you can see the patio where our game day experience, parents that come in from the tailgate, alumni, stuff like that, will uh, partake in the game, enjoy the atmosphere. But these facilities really are top notch, guys. Uh, being able to be right here within our stadium and transition right to the field is awesome for last minute meetings to go over practice plans and, and what yeah. drills we're hitting and stuff like that. Um, the, the other thing here that I know sure. Craig mentioned the resources athletically, uh, but this, this place is also truly committed to developing elite young men. And that's, that's part of what drew me back to come to, come to Oberlin. Um, you know, between the tutors, the academic success center, our academic game plan within football, um, and the academic coach you'll have, you guys will be taken care of. You know, any challenges that you hit, you know, we're there to make sure we catch it early and get you through it so you can be as successful as possible here at Oberlin. A um, little bit about me before I, I kick it back over. Uh, when I get on the road, guys, I'll be recruiting Colorado, Arizona, New York, um, and most of New England. So you'll see me here in the next couple of weeks at a heck of a lot of camps. I can't wait. Make sure you guys run up, let me know who you are, say hi. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing a phone call right about that same time. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and, and kick it back over to Coach O, meet a couple of our players. Appreciate that, Coach. Beard game is looking good and so excited for you guys to get a chance to meet our entire staff and a crew that is as impressive as anyone in the country. I'll put them up against the crew on Saturday afternoons or eight days of the week. Well, next up, we want you to meet our current players and really get an idea what makes this place special for the guys that are proud to call this place home right now. They were in your shoes once before, they've lived it, and they found themselves here at Oberlin College as a student and an athlete. With that, I want to introduce the four young men we've asked to join you here tonight, talk about where they're from, Position, possible major until we get into some Q&A. Gentlemen, Bear, why don't you kick this thing off? Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bear Broyles. Uh, I'm about to be a junior here. I'm an economics major, and I play receiver, and I'm from Akron, Ohio. What's up, everyone? I'm Chandler Laird. Um, I'll be a sixth year this coming year. I play offensive line. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm a bio major. Uh, I'm Sean Healy. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm going to be a second year this year, and I plan on majoring in the 3-2 program, and I'm a defensive lineman. Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Yvonne Sikora. I play quarterback here at Overland College. Uh, I'm going to be a second year uh, sophomore this year, and I am from Tampa, Florida. Gentlemen, you got a, a pretty impressive crew, and Healy's rolling suns out, guns out. I wouldn't expect anything less, Healy. I love it. Hey, just one by one, let's talk about kind of the recruiting process for each of you sitting in their shoes and as a top ready recruit once before. What got you here to Oberlin College and what kind of made this gut feeling home 
as you matriculated here for some a while ago in Chandler Lair, for some like Sean Healy and Vaughn Sikor not too long ago? Uh, yeah, so Oberlin came and talked to me my senior year, and uh, I went on a visit, and uh, I just love the guys here. And um, uh, academically, the school's top notch, and um, a lot. Of, I just saw a lot of our uh, alumni here. They go on to do great things and like go to crazy grad schools and stuff. And uh, just a lot of smart guys here. And I saw that um, I could play, try and play right away here, and go to a great school. And uh, I just felt that this was home, and that, uh, I love these guys here. Yeah, so the main thing, obviously, Oberlin gave me the opportunity to continue playing football in the college. But uh, two other factors, one of the big ones before I went on, came on my visit and met everyone on the team, freaking however long ago that was, uh, the academics. Uh, they're one of the highest rated non-Ivy League schools in the nation. They're competing with Ivy League schools uh, academically. And then on my visit, <clears throat> when I came and uh, did my overnight, when I was, got to meet a lot of the guys and one of the things that stood out to me more than any other place is they really made you feel like you're already a part of the team. Um, there's just like a different kind of connection, like a different brotherhood. And since I've been here, it's only continued. And I feel like it's grown stronger since then. Um, everyone in the locker room is super close. Everyone on the team is just tight knit. Most of the time we're hanging out with each other, uh, talking crap. We have group chats with each other all over the place. So we're always in connect, uh, always connected. That's probably the two main reasons that I chose Oberlin. Yeah, um, some of the main reasons that I chose Oberlin is one, it's one of the best academic schools in the nation. And another thing is the financial aid here. Like that was a big question for me was how much I'm gonna be paying for college. Because I'm a lower income and everything. So that was my dog. He, uh, he talks a lot, but um, yeah, a big, they're giving me a lot of stuff for financial aid and stuff, which helps a lot. And that's uh, another reason I came here. Also continuing playing football with a new family. Yeah. So the, so the big things for me, when I was taking a look at Oberlin college, I came on my visit. Um, one was just the facilities. Uh, some of the other schools that recruited me, um, some lower level D2, D3 schools, um, nothing really compared to indoor facilities, swimming pool, anything that you could want to do. And being able to use the f uh, facilities the last couple of weeks has been an awesome experience. And then the other thing for me was um, just the coaching staff and uh, the amount of knowledge that Coach O and a lot of the other guys have is um, just really high level. And the fact that they have such a zest for uh, wanting to win football games, which is something I wanted to be able to do in the college level and just help every single person on the team reach their full potential. Um, especially at a, a level school like this, um, I'm able to work with all the coaches uh, every single day to be able to reach my full potential as a student and as a football player. So those are the two main things that brought me to Oberlin. Rockstar, gentlemen. Next up, I've been so impressed, almost inspired. You guys get a chance to connect and do some amazing things because of the academic prestige and because of the professors. All of you have an end path and certainly some goals academically. Talk about those academic experiences, the network within the Heisman Club that you experienced so far, and what your goals are with an Overland College degree and your end game when you walk out with that degree on senior day. Uh, so uh, my plan right now is to go to law school uh, with, uh, with my Overland College degree. Uh, but uh, yeah, the professors here are, are great. Um, they're all really helpful. Um, just like go to office hours, spend time with them. They're super helpful. Um, if you do that, your grades will definitely be better. But um, in terms of like on the team and stuff, there's whatever major you're in, there's somebody on the team who has your major. Um, and uh, a lot of guys, upperclassmen helped me out, uh, helped me figure out what I wanted to do. And like these, uh, the guys on the team, there'll be connections for the rest of your life, like in the, in the real world with jobs and stuff. So um, you just have a lot of connections when you come play football here. Yeah, so <clears throat> there's a lot of opportunities, especially as a football player at Oberlin. Not only do we have the alumni network with a bunch of different football players, people all over the country that are CEOs, run businesses, managers all over the place that'll help you get internships, jobs. A lot of the guys that I came in with that have graduated now, um, they got jobs right out of high school, right out of college. Um, they had internships over the winter term. 
And uh, <clears throat> not just that though, but the professors at the school have a lot of knowledge. Um, they've done a lot of things, wrote lots of books, been on like involved in multiple different experiments, depending on what you want to do. They've gone on archaeological digs, all that kind of stuff. And <clears throat> not only is the opportunity there to broaden your horizon just as a person at Overland, but just to gain more insight on what you want to do and the opportunities to continue to do what you want to do after or even during. Yeah, I'd say probably the biggest thing here is the relationships that you build with your professors. Like I can sit down and talk with any of my professors, like even outside of like uh, class and stuff, like talk about life and they'll be there and listen to you. And you really feel like there's someone that you'll talk to in life and stuff. Um, like one of my professors is having a baby. So we were talking about that. And like, you know, you get to know them on a personal level, not just as someone who's teaching you material. Yeah. So my school experience has only been about a month long, but within that time frame, I've really been able to uh, learn from these professors. And once again, it's not the biggest school. I think about 3000 kids go here. So in each class, you're able to get that personal relationship um, with that professor to where you can get, get that help. Like Bear was talking about, um, you can easily go to them about anything uh, within that class. And you can really tell each of these professors as well as, um, as you can feel with the coaching staff are really invested and once again, you reaching that full potential as a student and trying to help you as much as you can to try to figure out what you want to do in your life uh, beyond Overland. We're going to finish up with this, gentlemen. Each of you have lived through the standard. Uh, it's been different. And certainly we arrived on campus as a program, as a staff, to raise the expectation, change the wins and losses that have been here over the past five years. What can these guys as a 2022 class expect over the next four years? And what's the foundation which has been set through the past fall and spring here at Overland College? Bear, we'll start with you. Uh, we, if you come here, you, you can expect to win some football games. I mean, if you're coming here, we're going to work every day. You just show up in the weight room, just ready to roll every day at practice, just ready to roll. Um, we're just going, we're going hard all the time and we're trying to win some football games. I want to start by uh, saying that throughout my high school and college career, I've had a lot of different coaches, a lot of different coaches, coaching staffs, and Coach O and the whole staff he's brought in is probably the best one that I've ever had, just with the energy and revitalization that they've brought into the program, especially during the time with the COVID era and things like that. Everyone's just more excited to play football. People are working harder, and we can see the changes already during our spring ball. The program's going in the right direction fast. And I can expect us to win a bunch of football games next year. And that's going to keep continuing. That's why we want you to be a part of this. Yeah, a big thing is, is just, I know it's said a lot, but trusting the process here, especially, is just something that you give all you're into and you will see results. I know that I've done it and I've already, I came in around 200 pounds and I've already gained 45, 50 pounds. And just that alone is just, you really believe and buy into it and you will see the results. Yeah, I think something that we're definitely doing here every day is raising the standard. Just the few days I've been at practices, um, we're getting after every day. Um, Coach O and all the other coaches are intense. We're ready to go. I mean, culture change is not an easy thing to do, but it's something that uh, Coach O has been able to accomplish in such a small amount of time. And um, we're going to take a program that is um, just going to be on the up and up as far as football and we're going to try like all these other guys have said win some football games and we want to bring you along with us Juan well, certainly that we do gentlemen I appreciate the time Chandler Laird you look good in a man tank I can't wait to see you in the morning there ain't no doubt these guys will share their social media accounts Twitter Instagram face snap whatever you got they'll throw it in the chat so you can communicate and really get an insight look at what their life is like here at Overland College. We will even be open for the possibility of, you know, overnights or visits here in July as we do have a summer term rolling on live and in color. I'm going to kick this thing over to our recruiting coordinator, wide receivers coach, special teams coordinator, second best looking ball guy and staff, Coach Trout. Uh, thanks, Coach O. I appreciate the introduction, uh, you know, 
Got to, got to rock the bald, bald in the beard. Right. But thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us tonight. Number one. Um, Thank you for taking an interest in Oberlin College football, because obviously we have an interest in you. This is an invite only event. So, you know, uh, our coaching staff, you know, works hours and hours evaluating talent based on academics, coaching recommendations, uh, seeing you live and in color at various camps uh, throughout the area. So we're uh, always working, always doing something. And we're glad to have you here. So what I'm going to talk about is uh, the next steps in the process here. So basically, you, you heard a lot of information and, you know, coach has the, the slide up for you. Basically, if you need to take a screenshot of this, this is really important. Uh, our campus is open. And this is the biggest thing. After tonight, be in contact with your recruiting coach to try to set up a visit. Uh, we have visits throughout the entire month of July. We'd love to get you here, see this thing live and in color, be even more impressive than that video narrated by Coach Swingle tonight. We also have a Friday night lights camp. If you want to come, come up, showcase your talents, be coached up by us, learn how we coach our players on a daily basis, we'd love to have you. That's July 16th. It's a Friday night under the lights. Uh, all the great things to do around campus isn't here. And then we also have positional Zoom calls, again, coordinated with your recruiting coach. Uh, those happen throughout the week. We'll talk some X's and O's, basically what our offense and defenses does. And then, fellas, we're out on the road. We're out on a camp circuit. We're in and out. Next week, our staff will head to New England a week and various other camps throughout the country. So be on the lookout on social media, especially Twitter. Our coaching staff posts exactly where they're going to be. Make sure you look for that OC logo on the chest and come up and say hello. OK. After the uh, upcoming events, it's important to talk about dates. So right now we're going through our academic pre-read classes as a recruited student athlete here. We're, we need you to take part in this process. All right. What what is involved? You sending your recruiting coach, your final junior year transcript. All right. Your senior class schedule and a school profile, basically saying where kids from your high school are going to school, what the course offerings are and you get that directly from your guidance counselor. On August 1st, the Common App opens. Again, free. We uh, get logged in at Oberlin to the Common App. 95% of the schools you're gonna speak to use the Common App. It just makes sense to get it done. October 1st, that's when the FAFSA and the CSS profile is done. Again, we meet 100% of need at Oberlin College. You need that done and filled out to find out what your financial aid package is here. And then the two biggest dates I'm gonna tell you is November 15th and January 2nd. That's early decision day one, early decision day two. All right, we are an early decision school. We want you to apply early decision. It gives us the opportunity as a football program to stand up and support your application. Fellas, right off the bat, we are recruiting the top 30 student athletes from the class of 22 across the country, fellas. It, it, there is nobody like it. That's who we're recruiting. That's what we're doing. We're excited to have you. Thank you again. Be on the lookout from your recruiting coach uh, for contact of next steps. Back to Coach O to close it. Coach Rod, a great job. And as he said, certainly our staff is working hard to put together the best recruiting class that's ever stepped foot here on campus. You stack a 2022 class that we know we can get here to campus with what we did in 2021, I think you'll be pretty impressed by the product over the next four or five years. Well, let's talk some X's and O's before we get you out of here tonight. On offense, we are a spread system. We are all gas, no breaks. Coach and quarterbacks do happen to coordinate our offense. It's been successful through really the past decade, decade 35-plus points, all conference, all Americans at quarterback. It's certainly a fun offense to play in. 10 and 11 personnel and certainly – they like to wing the ball around, run the ball with efficiency, and RPO teams that try to stop the run have that ability outside with some top-rated wide receivers, tight ends, and some dudes up front that want to get after it. On defense, Coach Yergo, Coach Cliff, and that staff do an outstanding job. It's organized chaos. It's a four-down front where we'll stop the run to start, but we've got athletes. We'll blitz guys from the second row of the stands and really hang it out there. Um, it's a attacking mentality, and they've done a great job. And stolen really the X's and O's side to make our guys confident on that side of the ball. So the real is going to come in special teams. You win with the third phase of it. 
excited about what Coach Trotta can do for any of that area. But the best recruiting classes will play special teams and certainly be a difference maker as that third phase as we get the 2021 season rolling. Can't thank you enough for joining us here tonight. Understand that 85% of our class will matriculate through early decision. That allows myself, our staff, to really support those we would like to see succeed here as a student and an athlete. Football will give you everything back you put into it. And it's a game that has changed a lot of people's life at a high academic Ivy Index school can do even more. And here's a promise. Well, we're going to win football games. You saw tonight some of the best facilities in the country and a myriad of the people that have really made it happen. Our president is a rock star. Athletic director is the best in the country. Kate Yunts joins you here tonight because the investment and the success that our football program can have. So make sure you send in some pre-read information. We hope to see you here on campus. And our one-day camp would be a great opportunity in July. But we're going to be around the country shaking hands and seeing you live and in color as well. So enjoy your summer. Continue to work hard. Looking forward to seeing your senior season. It's going to go by fast, but we'll see you here in paradise soon. With that, I'll sign off by saying go yo.